Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on everybody? And of course, welcome back to the Sports Lovers in today's first video of three different videos. We are going to be reacting to these ACC games that were being played this weekend. We got a lot to talk about. We got to talk about that comeback from Miami. Syracuse almost losing to UNLV on Friday night. Clemson absolutely giving it to Florida State. And of course, SMU upsetting Louisville. All of that and much more in today's video. But first, of course, if you guys are new to the channel, you already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. Really quickly, we will talk about the Jets firing Robert Sala. I don't think that was a bad move by the Jets. I really don't. We'll see how it goes, but I'll talk more of that in NFL reactions. Not to bore you guys, but we got to talk about college football in this video today. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and react to these Week 6 games that were being played this weekend. Alright, starting us off on Friday night, you had Syracuse going into UNLV as a top 25 ranked team and almost blowing their lead. It took them into overtime for the most part, right? Well, it was a phenomenal game. UNLV had the lead going into the third quarter of the second half. They kind of blew that one, let Syracuse start to come in the back a little bit, and uh, they win it and uh, beat UNLV. It was a great uh, great game. UNLV, one of the favorites to make the college football playoff now, if you're asking me, in the group of five. And uh, they fall to Syracuse as Syracuse is now 4-1 and one on the year and 1-0 or one and oh in conference play in ACC. Now, moving on is Duke going into Georgia Tech and losing. I'm going to be honest. I didn't really watch a lot of this game. I was watching other games, obviously. But from what it looks like, Malachi Murphy did not play terrible. Had two touchdowns of the day, 18 of 31, 205 yards on the day for him. And uh, the Georgia Tech, Haynes Keene just kind of did what he does best. And uh, in the fourth quarter, they kind of rallied and got the job done at home in that matchup. Now, up next is Virginia Tech going into Stanford. I called this one. I said Stanford w will lose to Virginia Tech here. I didn't think it was going to be a blowout as much as it was. The quarterback for Virginia Tech is looking very good. 14 of 19, 201 yards, two touchdowns of the day for him. The running back also had a touchdown, and the wide receiver also had a touchdown as well. So Virginia Tech gets the job done on the road at Stanford for their first or second or first ACC win. Excuse me. Now they are one and one in the conference. There. Moving on is Wake Forest going into NC State and getting their first ACC win on the year. Congratulations to them. NC State, they got to figure out something with that D-line. Their D-line is not looking great all year. Their quarterback play is really solid. Obviously led the game with two touchdowns, 272 yards, uh, 28 of 42. But the D-line specifically for NC State kind of let Wake Forest just run all over them. And that's kind of where it had two touchdowns on the day for the running back Claiborne for Wake Forest. He also had 136 yards of 20 carries. So again, that D-line has got to have some work if you are an NC State Wolfpack fan as well. Now, moving on is something I did not see happening, but North Carolina has fallen to 0-2 in ACC Conference play, losing to Pittsburgh 34-24. Pittsburgh, don't look now, but they are 5-0 and and are at the top of ACC Conference play right now. They are one of the top teams in the ACC, and uh, this should be a fun little race to keep up with between Miami and Clemson, obviously now Pittsburgh as well, but they're five and zero. They got the job done at home, the or on the road in Pitt, North Carolina. Took them a little bit. I was keeping up with this game for sure. Watched a little bit of this game, and uh, they just kind of escaped there in the fourth quarter. That's when I was like, I'm not watching this anymore. But North Carolina Stadium is a great stadium, and uh, yeah, Pittsburgh gets the job done on the road at North Carolina as well. Moving on is SMU going into Louisville. SMU don't look now as well, but they are 2-0 in conference play, 5-1 on the year. They're looking really good. They beat Florida State last week. They beat Louisville this week on the road, might I add, as well. And SMU's cooking right now. Their offense is looking really good. Um, they they have playmakers with their running back, wide receivers, stuff like that. Louisville's defense just couldn't get off the field, if you're asking me. And SMU kind of just ran all over them and bullied them in that matchup there as uh, they get the job done on the road 
and uh, they upset Louisville to go to five and zero on the or five and one on the year, two and zero in ACC conference play. So right now, the top four teams are of course Miami, Clemson, SMU, and Pittsburgh in the ACC, which is crazy. I didn't think that would happen. Also. Duke is 1-1 one one on the year, 5-1 and one overall, so they are still in contention for sure. They just got to keep winning games as well. Moving on is, of course, Clemson going into Florida State and absolutely trashing them. It was basically 30-13, 29-13, whatever you want to call it. Cave Clumnet looks to be that guy for the Clemson Tigers as he was 19-33, of 33, 235 yards, two touchdowns on the day. The wide receiver, Williams for Clemson, led the team, had 84 receiving yards, 33 receptions, and of course, caught a touchdown on the day from Clay Clemneck as well. Looking to be one of the Heisman Trophy favorites, if you're asking me, and uh, Clemson gets the job done. Other than Georgia, that loss, they have looked really solid all year in conference play. I'm expecting that train to keep rolling. They're 3-0 in the ACC right now, and uh, I expect that train to keep rolling as they get into the back half of conference play as well. And then, last but certainly not least, you had the game of the week. College game day was there. The fans were up since about midnight the day before. Reese Davis working a 22-hour shift in this game, and it delivered. Miami over Cal, but it took them a little bit to get going. They scored 21 points. In the fourth quarter, I stayed up to watch this game. This game was phenomenal. Cam Ward looked on point in the second half, lighting it up 35 of 53, 437 yards, two touchdown passes on the day for him. Uh, Michael Fletcher also caught a or rushed for a touchdown, I believe that's his name, and uh, rushed for a touchdown as well for the Miami Hurricanes. But First half-wise, second quarter was where they let Cal kind of get a, get away with it and uh, started running over it. They took that momentum in the third quarter, scored about 14 points in that quarter. And then, of course, Miami in the fourth quarter absolutely killing it. Cam Ward had his Heisman moment. I said it. I said Cam Ward would have his, one of his Heisman moments in this matchup. Look what he did. Comes back, beats California. Everybody watching, this is a Pac-12 basically game after dark. ACC First conference play game, and uh, Miami having to travel all across the country to go win this game. However, they get the job done in phenomenal fashion, and uh, Reese Davis may be a little bit tired this week, but hey, that's just the college football season for you in a nutshell there. As Miami improves to 6-0, undefeated, one of the first boat teams to clinch a bowl game right now, 2-0 in ACC conference play, gets the win over Cal on the road in that matchup. Anyway, of course, that is going to be all for today's video. Once again, if you have not already, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn that bell on as we do our best to post on this channel every single day. With that being said, I'm going to hop off this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Have a great rest of your day if I don't see you in ACC predictions or NFL reactions. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace.